Hi, this is Ricky from PreschoolSpeechyPlus.com, and I have a little guy who uh, deletes his final consonants for all his sounds, and I've been working uh, very closely with him utilizing the prompt method, and I came up with this idea. This is a magnet board, and he just loves this idea, so I got uh, the, these uh, cute little magnets from Junior Learning, uh, and uh, basically what I did was I separated them all and I um, put them into boxes. I have labials, velars, alveolar. Now I um, did an assessment of all of his final sounds and found that uh, the, the unvoiced sounds were the easiest for him. So that's what I started with. And um, so I've got all the... Uh, the sounds that he was able to say, uh, imitate with utilizing prompt. Um, so I worked on S, T, K, P, and M. So with this approach, basically what I do, um, he gets to pick any word he wants. He loves playing with these. He, he uh, makes little play scenarios. Uh, it's very cute to watch. So um, for example, if uh, he picks the bus, he takes the bus and goes bus. So all these letters um, act like semantic symbols for him. He may not know those letters, but I name the letter and uh, he knows that there's something at the end of the word because I'm using these symbols. Pot. Black. Stop time. So uh, I just want to share a successful approach that I don't think there's any research on this, but uh, if you know me at all, I always think out of the box and do things that other people don't. <laughs> so um, I hope you find this uh, video helpful. Enjoy.